let's talk about measuring current. You can see we have over here a our meter. We have on the, the circuit board here a, a simple series circuit. Okay, starting out with, with 12 volts up here. We have power flowing through our fuse, through our switch, and then we're flowing through this bulb, then through that bulb, down here to ground. So, series circuit, the two loads in the circuit are hooked together in series, meaning one right after the other. Okay, we want to measure current in this circuit. So let's measure current. Now we have our, our DVOM over here that is, of course, capable of reading current. So how do we do that? Well, this is not like measuring volts. When we measure volts, we are simply hooking our meter up in parallel with the part of the circuit that we're testing. Well, to measure the current, we want to hook the meter up in series. So we're going to turn the meter on, and we always start out on the, the 10 amp scale because we don't know how much current is, is, is going to be flowing through this circuit. Now there's two bulbs here so chances are it's going to be a fair amount of current meaning it'll probably be at least an amp or uh, somewhere in that neighborhood. If we had this um, if we had these two bulbs hooked up in, in parallel it would probably be well, it would definitely be way more than one amp and, and certainly over two amps but anyway Start on the 10 amp scale because we don't want to blow a fuse. Now, very important that we remember to move our leads. So we're going to, we're going to take our red lead from the, the voltage uh, slot and we're going to move it over here to the, the 10 amp slot. So now the meter is ready to measure amperage. Well, we, we, we turn our lights on, we can see that the, the circuit works. And that's good because if we want to know how much current is flowing through the circuit, the circuit has to be on and the circuit has to be functioning. So now the only thing to do is hook up our meter. Well, if we are going to hook our meter up in series, we need to think about this for a second. Okay, we've got these two bulbs hooked together in series. If our meter is going in series, then that means our, need, our meter needs to be just another component or another thing in the circuit that is carrying current or another another thing in the circuit that all of the current in the circuit has to pass through. So what we're going to do is we are going to disconnect the circuit somewhere. And we can disconnect the circuit anywhere. It doesn't matter where we disconnect the circuit because in a series circuit the current is the same everywhere. So just for the heck of it, I'm going to disconnect the circuit right here. So at this point going into the first bulb. And I'm going to take my meter and I'm going to hook it up right there where I disconnected the circuit. So that means I'm going to take one lead and I'm going to touch it to that wire that I disconnected and I'm going to take the other lead and I'm going to touch it to that spot where the wire was hooked up. So both of our leads are hooked up. We've got one lead hooked up to the wire that we disconnected and the other lead, oops, if I can hold this together, the other lead is hooked up to that spot going into the first bulb where the wire was hooked up. And if you look over here on our meter, you can see we have 1.44 amps. All right, 1.44 amps, that's how much current we have. All the current flowing through this circuit is flowing through the meter. And that's what you have to do when you measure current. You have to flow all the current through the meter. That's the only way the meter can measure it. All right, now you'll notice there's a minus sign on there. That minus, so it actually says minus 1.44 amps. That's because we kind of have the leads hooked up backwards. It doesn't really matter, okay? It's not something to, uh, to fuss about too much because we know that what 1.44 means. We can take our, our leads and we can swap them around like this, okay? And now the minus sign is gone. It doesn't really matter as long as you understand why the minus sign is there. But that's 1.4446, somewhere in that neighborhood amps. I'm going to hook this circuit back up, and I'm going to um, go to a different place in the circuit. Let's go right down here to the very, very end, here where our ground connection is. Okay, and we're going to hook up. We're going to hook up down here. And look, 1.46 amps. It's the same. How about right up here, going into the fuse? Okay, 
4, 4, 4, 3 amps. It's all the same. The difference between 1.43 and 1.46 is negligible, so we're not going to worry about that. We just want to see that if we go here between the two bulbs, okay, same again, okay, 1.46 amps. So it doesn't matter where we measure current in a series circuit. And that's something that's important to remember. The rule for current draw in a series circuit is the same. Um, the, the, sorry, the rule is that current is the same no matter where it's measured in a series circuit. So that's an important thing to remember. So when you're measuring current, remember to select the proper amperage scale on your meter Remember to move your leads, okay? Make sure that you're not plugged in here. You want to be plugged in there. And then make sure that you actually physically disconnect the circuit and put the meter in series with the circuit in order to get your reading. And that's how we'll measure current.